Before we get started, I should warn you that Steyr does not recommend adjusting the hammer spring tension on their automatic version of the rifles, and that's because apparently it can mess up the semi-auto action and prevent it from working properly. Having said that, I have adjusted the hammer spring tension quite a bit, fired roughly a thousand shots through it, even at the um, really low hammer spring tension setting, and I've had absolutely no troubles. Having said that, you might, so keep that in mind uh, as you're watching the rest of this video. Thanks. To access the hammer spring adjustment screw, you're going to have to remove the action from the stock. Uh, you need to unscrew the air reservoir first and then the two screws on the bottom. It's a very simple process. And when you pull the action out of the stock, this is what you'll see at the back end. Adjustment is simple. You just take a three millimeter Allen key, insert it in the slot and tighten it to increase the power of the rifle and loosen it anti-clockwise to reduce the power of the rifle. In this picture I have the screw loosened about three full turns which is about the max you can actually loosen it because there's a recess in the stock shown here that prevents the screw from being backed out any further. The reason you'd want to tighten or loosen your hammer spring is for tuning purposes. So if you wanted to squeeze an extra 10 feet per second out of your air rifle, maybe giving a little bit of a turn on the hammer spring might cause your velocities to go up a little bit. I usually tune my rifles to actually lighten the hammer spring because I'm searching for a particular efficiency point. I'm willing to give up a little bit of velocity to really maximize my shot count. I started all my testing with the hammer spring tensioning screw flush with the breech block on the gun and then I'd shoot a shot string and then I would loosen it out a quarter of a turn and fire another shot string and collect data on the velocity and the efficiency and shots per fill I was getting from the rifle. This graph shows that the gun didn't like the hammer spring being too tight. In fact, the velocity increased when I backed out the hammer spring a quarter of a turn. As I backed off the hammer spring each quarter of a turn, the velocity would drop between about 12 and 15 feet per second, but I would get a gain of six shots per fill. All my data was collected using a 16 grain Air Arms field pellet um, fired at maximum velocity of about 922 feet per second. I was only getting 34 shots per fill. Um, dialing down the power just a little bit would, would raise the efficiency quite a bit and I'd get a lot more shots. My goal is about 50 shots per fill and according to this data here, I need to loosen my hammer spring about one full turn from flush. In another video, I show how to reduce the regulator pressure from 140 bar down to 85 bar and how to add a choke to reduce the power of your gun to the 12 foot-pound energy setting. The following data was collected with the gun at 12 foot-pounds of energy. And again, at the 16 joule or 12 foot-pound of energy tune, the gun did not like having the hammer spring totally flush with the breech block. As you can see in the graph, you're just wasting efficiency, having it tighter than a half of a turn backed out. As this graph shows, backing out the hammer spring at the 16 joule setting didn't have quite as much effect. Sometimes you would loosen the hammer spring a half of a turn and it wouldn't really affect velocity very much, but it would still improve the shot count. Um, for all of these, tunes I'm getting over 150 shots per fill and so I didn't waste pellets testing it since 150 is what I was going for but what I was looking for was a very consistent shot string so what I was looking for was the setting that created the lowest standard deviation or the lowest variation between my shots and as you can see on this chart that was achieved with the hammer spring pulled out 
about a half of a turn from flush. I hope this video was of use to those of you that have a Steyr Hunting 5 automatic rifle and are looking to tune it. Um, if you have any questions, you can find me on Airgun Nation. My handle is M Mahoney. Thanks for watching.